hello. All is well with you. Go family. How is fun? How is your preparation for your new year? You ready with all your fireworks? Preparation thing. It is test yet. Fun to game. Share our stream right now. Okay, okay. I hope all is well with you guys. Start with I am RJ and I am your technical analyst for live stream. I've been trading in Forex, Crypto, Ox, and I first learned it in the currency. Okay, that's the good thing in learning, in learning technical analysis because it's all applicable. Okay, you can use it, you can apply it. Okay, you can apply it in other stock market like forex and stock okay, especially in derivatives like futures trading like with leverage okay so that is my exposure in trading and i make uh, content for youtube channels like xrp hat i am their content provider in daily technical analysis videos also in discord i also give a live stream videos in technical and I've been there I've spent much hours learning and that's where we are right now learning and learning technical okay Hope all is well with everyone. Feel free to ask questions for our technical analysis. Okay. okay. Basic technical analysis you must learn. What are the basic technical analysis you must learn? Are more on educational type in this channel. So we educate. We also give value by providing some. Okay. We'll be covering introduction, basic technical analysis you can learn, what's news today on BTC, advanced technical analysis. Okay. That's what we will be looking at for our one hour, one hour live Okay, so for our basic technical analysis you must learn. looking at our the one thing I can 
we can we can check for our technical analysis there are so many ways but the most basic is a candlestick okay people ignore this candlestick right here actually this candlestick tells you so many things okay just like this one what do you call this one this is a bullish engulfing okay or bullish harami but if you ignore it ignore your candlestick education you won't know that you are already looking at a bullish engulfing candle or this one bullish harami okay this one this one is a bullish harami big big green big red and then small green we are looking at a bullish harami look at the next candle green the next candle. okay that's how beautiful candlestick why we need to educate ourselves with this candle we get we need to get familiarized with this candles okay i hope this helps us okay 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 what else the bearish candles right now we are looking at a bearish week a bearish week so we are looking at right now a bearish candlesticks bearish arami bearish engulfing evening star okay so let's look at some this one what do you call this one this one what do you call this one this one is bearish Big green, big green, small red. Big green, small red. This is bearish harami. Okay, so you can just imagine a bearish harami will tell you that the next candle will be red. Okay, so from there, imagine your profit from all the next candle. It's a bearish harami telling you different. Just like this one, bearish. This one is bearish engulfing. Small green, big red. But this one, all green, big red, bearish engulfing. Okay, so as we familiarize ourselves with the market, then we will be able to get to know okay, the market. Feel free to ask questions. Okay, welcome to everyone. That's what we are looking at right now, this bearish uh, engulfing. Okay? What else? This evening star right here. Like, let's try to find an evening star. This one is an evening star. This, these three candles right here is an evening star. Big green, too small. Green, too small. King, an evening star. It. Okay, so because it is a bearish uh, candle, the next candle will be a bear candle. Okay, so the next candle was also a red candle. That's what we are looking at right now. Okay, do you have any questions related to our candlestick? Okay, we need to get familiarized ourselves with this candlestick pattern right here. Because the more you master the candles, even other technical analysis will work. Okay, it can supplement also, especially if you are newbie and you want to trade like daily time frame. This one, take the one day. So from here you can use your your pattern. Okay, like this one. You can see a uh, evening star green red red so the next candle was okay we're looking okay if this is your candle and then the next day you can trade the next day and say okay we leave this first and i will take profit wherever that's what we call morning star okay evening star evening okay we 
can see divergence and change of direction okay so can you so what's the news for today's bitcoin okay let's check the news right now so we will know where we are going okay where are we going for as usually news affects news affects uh, the crypto also it affects the uh, the stock market because the news is the legal pump and dump of the stocks okay if they want to dump something they will try to bring out new news so that it will be it bring fad fear uncertainty doubt okay so it, be, it brings fad so that's the news and if they want it to be bullish they will try to eat news again for FOMO fear of missing out okay so that's how the news manipulates the market and just like it is legal for the stock market you see every time the stock market moves the crypto also follows okay take note of that okay and also the dollar if the dollar is going up then Bitcoin or cryptocurrency will go down okay so you can also check the dxy index okay the dollar index okay so here we can look at the dxy the dollar currency index for the dxy this is the price of dollar against index okay it's against global and point of okay and we can see the that we have a 96 okay we are still good in 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 un in the xy so we are going up okay and if you notice if the bit if the if the if the dxy is going up then the bitcoin will go down okay daily time frame let's right now dx okay is in an uptrend okay being an uptrend for the dx if this breaks out our dxy this rising wedge right here if it breaks out it will fall right here okay it, if it falls it's going down and when it goes down then bitcoin will go up okay you can always take note of that our volume awesome oscillator is telling us we don't have volume anymore okay this is the high ah yes even though this is double top you can see it's double top right double top because this is double top this is bearish okay if it is bearish then the breakout will be the downside even though it has bigger uh, it's still going up but the volume tells us that we're going down okay this is the xy and we are looking at double top double bearish okay we might see another dump right here or falls right here for our dollar XY XY is our daily time for me a double top and it's bouncing right here but once it breaks okay and the volume and go up so the breakout will go back Okay, we might are expecting this one. 
it right here okay this is the dxy so this is the dollar currency index if the dollar is going up the bitcoin is going down the bitcoin if the dollar is going down then the bitcoin will go up okay is okay twenty five hundred. you can imagine pull up here and in relation to the stock market the bitcoin always follow the market if the stocks are all up then it also follows okay that's why right now uh, bitcoin is also in consolidation stock is still closed right now for the us market okay so here's our news for today for the bitcoin so bitcoin turns sell on rallies toward 48k bears in action okay so bitcoin extended decline below the 47500 support zone against the us dollar btc could recover but upside might be limited above 47500 so that can be our top orbit okay seven will be the top for the bitcoin based on our news okay okay that's the top and it's a strong resistance right here strong support here will turn into strong support it's now a resist okay now it becomes the top okay okay the news the price is trading below 48 and the 100 hour SMA okay there is a key declining channel forming with resistance near okay and the early chart of the BTC the pair could correct higher but upside might be limited above 48 okay so it can be limited to 40 okay this this is the port okay be the strong uh board risk wrong risk okay that can be our uh resist okay this is a major resistance right here Okay. Have any question? Oh, hello. Hello, Ernesto Costa. Welcome, welcome. Too loud background music. Okay. About this one, is it okay now? Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> so you can't hear me clearly. Okay, how was it now? How is it now? Better? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, okay. Okay, I hope this is better now, okay? Still a bit too loud. A bit lower. Okay, let's check again. <laughs> adjust it from here. Okay, adjust. How about that one? Okay, how was it? Okay. Better now? <laughs> Can you still hear anything? Can't hear a thing now. <laughs> a little. Uh... Okay, better. Okay, so going back. Going back to our TA. Thank you for joining us. Okay, going back. 
are we looking out right now for our news so our bitcoin has already moved further into a bearish zone okay do you know what bearish zone means i think the bulls gave up already <laughs> okay i think the bulls gave up already okay so let's see let's see let's see our technical analysis for today okay let's look at now the bitcoin this is the bitcoin we are looking at and let's check the weekly time frame first so for our weekly time frame you can see the uh you're here are uh, still forming an m pattern okay let me delete so we are forming an m uh a head and shoulder shoulder head and shoulder so you know what's head and shoulder right the break out of it will always be the downside so we are expecting something that if it breaks right here if this head and shoulder form a dangerous head and shoulder that everyone is waiting for to start huddling coins right everybody wants to huddle coins but of course you don't want to huddle be even before doubt entering the accumulation phase so we are looking at 16869 if this head and shoulder pattern breaks okay okay let me show you also uh, a fibonacci circle okay fibonacci circle if you are familiar with fibonacci circle fibonacci circle tells you uh where is where it moves okay it it predicts big movement every time it crosses the ring okay this is fib circle right here so from higher high here so if you can notice from here we just cross another fib fib ring okay the fib circle this is the ring and we just cross you can always be recognize it that every time it crosses it goes sideways and then it moves another ring it crosses sideways and then it moves so right now we are here it crosses now it's going to move we don't know where it is going okay either to the upside or to the downside but let me pull out something how big this movement usually so from top bottom it moves okay let's let's check the movement here so it's 82 percent movement okay once it entered the ring <laughs> it consolidates it gathers its consolidation it's gathering strength for a giant move right there and you can see here it moved 82 percent can you imagine being part of that kind of move uh, you reach instantly <laughs> okay okay most welcome chen okay okay so you can just imagine every time it crosses the ring it moves so right now we cross another ring let's see how much it moves again bottom up it moves 74 <laughs> percent so are you excited for the next move of bitcoin uh, when i posted this in in discord uh, my viewer said oh i will sell my children and my wife <laughs> and i will get them again after i take profit <laughs> so th they are kind of excited with this giant move right here so if we are expecting for the upside and like 80 percent move we are expecting if 80 percent we're expecting eighty three thousand. okay eighty three thousand. Eighty three thousand okay so that's what we are expecting if it's going up okay <laughs> so i laugh with you sir ernesto and also if we if it moves downside 80 percent 80 percent okay here so it's nine thousand you can just imagine that's why the people in discord were all uh, cracking with this anticipation of this crossing of the ring and 
expecting a next move of the Bitcoin. Okay, so the bigger the consolidation, the bigger the move. Okay, so our target seventeen thousand for the cup and uh, the the try the head and shoulder. Uh, it is possible. Okay, it it can it happen because uh, the movement of every crossing of the ring gives big movement. Okay. So what else can we see here? You can also see uh right here. So we can also see this one, the uptrend. Uh, we can also see this one as M pattern or double top or you can say a uh, rising wedge. One pull it that way. You see the drawing trend line is important because you can see uh, it respects. Okay, so if it is rising, rising wedge, the breakout will always be the downside. Okay, if it breaks, it already broke. We are expecting a take profit of thirty-five thousand. This one, seventeen thousand. Okay, that's what we are looking at. Okay. And if we are going to pull from here, the start of the bull run. Start of the bull run right here. Then here. Is triangle right here ascending triangle right here it's ascending so if it breaks from top bottom he might see move like this one 19,983 okay the shoulder is not yet confirmed it's it's really making the breakout so we still have three days okay so if the if three days three days from now uh, we have a bear week it doesn't seem so because we are just consolidating but if it breaks to the downside then it can be a confirmation once it breaks right here so once we closes below here then it can be a confirmation for our weekly time frame okay it breaks there then we can start the, the fall from this one. Let me pull out some VPVR for you. The VPVR. Our VPVR tells us of the volume. Okay. And you can just imagine the buy and the sell right here. Buyers and the sellers. So once we break this pass here. The strong volume are right here that's why we are consolidating here because there's a strong buy signal here the the, the bulls are not giving up yet <laughs> so but if it crosses you can just imagine the lower volumes right here and no volume actually if we once we cross this this big volumes right here this 28,000 once we break this 28,000 just like our last right here if we break this pass there is no volume and we can really see a uh, start from the bull run again. Okay, it can start a new consolidation. 17,114. Okay, so this is really possible. The 13,000, the 10,000. Because there is no volume. It can be a, a free fall. Yes, that's VPPR. Okay. Hide that one again. For clearer. Okay. So we are only looking at the weekly time frame, okay? Uh, let me pull out some Fibonacci retracement, okay? From from up here to bottom, the bull run. And we can see here, we can see here that we haven't touched really the 0.236, okay? The 0.236 is the, the change of direction. Okay, so we haven't touched it. We are still in a healthy bull run. Okay, so if it is a healthy bull run, we are only retracing. We touch this one is a weak 
retracement right here. Okay, this 0 0.2, 0 0.382. This bounce right here is a weak. If it bounces right here, it's a strong. This one in five, this, if it bounces here, it's a strong retracement. Okay, since it didn't bounce, so it's a weak. So here it's a normal retracement, and here is a weak retracement. So the weak retracement just went up again to the number one. The target for this is the, the golden ratio. Okay, what is golden ratio? Uh, this is from Fibonacci retracement, the Italian mathematician, Fibonacci. Okay, it's named after him. And this is the what we call the golden ratio, 1.618. So the target profit for this will be 98,000. This will this is this has been hype. Okay, this has been hype for so long. We are expecting this one. But it seems the bulls have given up already. Okay, so but for now we are still in in a healthy retracement. Okay, for for the longs. Okay, this one. Okay, so now let's check the one day time frame. Okay, let's go lower. We can go closer and we can know how to how are we going to trade this okay daily time frame right here so for our daily time frame what do we have here for okay you want this to be your shoulder it's already a shoulder right here <laughs> you want this to be your shoulder then this can be your shoulder. This is a little shoulder. A forced shoulder. It's not proportional for humans. So, so right. This is the shoulder. You can change the. Let's make it bigger. And let, for instance, if this is the shoulder, okay. We are not yet breaking it, and we are dancing in it. Okay, we are dancing in the lines with these shoulders right here. If this is the head and shoulder, with a small shoulder and small shoulder, and we're waiting for the breakout for this 46, we force that one, and from top, bottom. So once we pull that out and put it here, this one, 23,770. This can be the end of our head in shoulder if it's a small shoulder. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we are looking at can you see this one? I told you yesterday with our live stream that we are forming a bearish saucer. This one is awesome oscillator, okay? Awesome oscillator is a good way to predict where we are going. Okay. Let me pull out my a educational powerpoint <laughs> okay here bearish saucer here you can see the bearish saucer this one bearish saucer and we have seen it right here bearish saucer okay this one is a big bearish saucer okay can you see that big bearish saucer so it's a sign that it's gonna slide again to the downside okay so it did not cross the other side Okay, it did not cross. The bears wants it down, down, down. Okay. Okay, so wow, can I have the material? Okay, you can join our telegram group, okay? You can have the telegram. You can join. Click the link there. And you can join the telegram. Okay. So you we can continue adding. Is what we are doing right now. Uh, what I have put in my material, in my teaching material. It's all that I've been using where it helps me find the divergence just like this one. If you look at this one in the chart, okay, if you're with me, if you're look, looking at this one, this is uptrend, right? So you say, oh, this is uptrend. Okay, good. So our volume, our awesome oscillator tells us it's still going up. But if you check this one, double top. Another top right here. Look at the awesome oscillator. Telling you, uh-uh, not going up anymore. I don't have strength anymore. Okay. So what can you see there? 
there is no volume. So if you see this double tap and you see this volume of awesome oscillator, what will what is it telling you? Telling you that short now, short now, it'll make money. And you can just imagine if you have shorted from that top right there. Okay? You shorted from here to here, you've gained at least 41% times your leverage. If you if you like 100x, then you might have made money with 100x from this one. Okay? So that's how accurate our awesome oscillator. That's why I we call it awesome. Awesome. Okay? So that's what we are looking at right now for the one day frame. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. So, what do we have here for our daily time frame? Okay, we are looking at. You can see a respect of our our down frame. Imagine. This is a falling wedge right here. Uh, we are also in a position of of if it is falling wedge right here, we can expect an upside right here. Because the breakout of the falling wedge always to the upside, right? So if we find that we lost the power already, the bears already use up all their funds and that pull the price anymore then the bu the bulls will bring it out here to the breakout area and once it breaks out this is our target profit it breaks here okay we are expecting 58 oh it's gonna go back to the bull run right so we are looking at a daily time frame so far but I am just showing you if that happens, okay? Because we are still looking at a big falling wedge. And the falling wedge breakout is always to the upside, okay? Or broadening wedge. Down, okay? Falling. Take profit will always be from top. out then you hit here okay that's what we are looking in our daily time frame if the bulls if the bears won't be able to break this strong line of support right okay we are looking at a daily time frame okay do you have any question let's continue let's okay so right now we have here right now this is our daily this is our four hour time frame okay four hour time frame are looking at a four hour time frame and we can see a channel down you know what's channel down this one is channel channel downside okay so if we lose the power for this four hour time frame for the bears then we can expect that we can have a breakout to the upside okay so how do you find your Take profit, it's up. Then you pull it out wherever it will take. Okay. Just like this one, we are ready to the upside. I will explain to you why I have this price right here. Okay, because it's for the one hour time frame. I don't know if we have hit it. We haven't hit it. See this one? Okay, it hit it. Our take profit touch it and the support is let, let let's check it. So I made this TA for the morning because we have a forecast every morning for 
a, a shorter time frame and I try to forecast what where my uh, Bitcoin will be going. So that's how it works. Okay, so for a four hour time frame, at this one, our RSI is is overbought now in the downside. You see when it's it's in channel down. Okay, take note of it. Once the trend is downside, the RSI tends to stay in the downside. Okay, so do not be so excited when you see that it's overbought. It's overbought. It's kind of long now. No, because it's it's downside. Okay, it's not like this one. Let me find you something. Like this one. This is overbought right here. And this is not a downside. This is a dump. This is a quick dump right here. Okay, so it's overbought. So from here, you know that it will go up. Okay, so RSI went up. But if you are having a descending, a normal downside, you can expect that it will stay longer to the downside. Okay, so not be so excited. You've been waiting. Almost like waiting for your RSI. Okay, you are waiting and nothing happens. Your RSI was not following you. Because the RSI is only following the this is our four hour time frame let me pull out some ichimoku right here so four hour time frame do you know how to use ichimoku ichimoku is a wonderful tool as well you can just see it touches the cloud ichimoku cloud once it touches it bounces okay so once it crosses once it crosses the cloud the strong support right there it can also dump okay so once it cross it dump so that's how powerful we are looking at it our time frame our one so once it touches it crosses the 10 can send the blue line and the orange line or the red line is the the ijun sen okay it's also here in my lecture about about Kimoku cloud okay so here's the name then can send the blue the kijun sen the red and the the sen kubi the the cloud the low lower part of the cloud and the higher part of the cloud is sen kue okay so right now once this then can send crosses and then crosses the cloud it it pumps strongly Okay, you can just imagine how strong that pump went. Okay, so once it touches right here, it really pumps again. Every time it tested the cloud, it's strong. Okay, let's check the one day time frame. Okay, so one day time frame, same thing, touches the cloud, it pumps. Imagine that pumps right there. Can you imagine this support right here? Everybody's praying to break the support for the bears, but it didn't. It touches it, it held well. Okay, so once it held well, so it it pumps. You can imagine the pump right there. Okay, then started another. Okay, so that's what we are looking at. This is Ichimoku cloud, and this is a good indicator. And once you are below the cloud, will also have hard time breaking the cloud okay so you are below you tested the cloud it rejected tested the cloud it rejected okay it it feels painful also by getting <laughs> this one it's so bullish candle right here it's a red candle but it's it looks almost like a hammer but even though if you are a hammer, you cannot hammer a cloud. It cannot face through. Okay. So it's remained here below the cloud. So right now, we are below the cloud. So we are expecting some magical free, free, free drop right here. Okay. So. And just imagine our volume. Is holding us VPVR is still holding us right here but once we break this one look at this one 
Once you break this one, this strong tide to support resistance right here. Tell you, once we break this, it's a free fall. Just a little volume. Okay? A little volume right here. That's why you better watch out for this drop, okay? Because just like my uh, Discord viewers, uh, they are very excited to <laughs> do silly things like sell their house and their family. I think the story of Wojak really comes from them because most of them are from UK and US. They really are in the business of selling people just to ride the money train okay we call it the money train hope we all ride the money train. so this is what we are looking okay four hour time frame or uh, one hour why do i have this okay why do i have this one because i am seeing an M pattern. Okay. This is descending wedge or the channel down. More accurate channel down. And then this M pattern right here. Can you see the M pattern? The sideways M pattern. Here M. And then this is the breakout area. So once it breaks, the target would be one. From top, okay, from top, okay, from top to bottom, and breakout area. If it breaks, then this will be your target point. This is for the M pattern, okay, and the other will be a cup and handle. Can you see the cup and handle? So join our telegram so we can always communicate we can talk about trading okay so here we i can also see a up and hand up the handle it, uh, the cup is spilling it's inverse cup and handle okay this is the cup and pull This is the breakout area for the cup and handle. Okay. This is the handle right here, and you can just pull up, bottom. Up to. Profit. Why we have seen a touch. And also this one, the first line I'm. Okay. Up and up. The other. Okay. That's what we are looking at right now. And these two strong lines right here are the support. Yesterday, we are forming like this one, the bear flag, the bear flag, always bear flag, the break, the fake out, and then went inside the bear flag again, and then, okay, so our target profit was, okay, for our bear flag, making some bear flags, okay? That's what we are looking at. Okay, sir, can you at Ethereum? Okay, okay. Check let Ethereum. You're looking at Ethereum. Did you enter Ethereum? You have a, do you have a trade in Ethereum? Trade in it. 
Mr. Ernesto Chow. We are looking at Ethereum right here. You can see our Ethereum uptrend just broke sideways. This is a weekly time frame of our strong support stance. The resistance here and we break loose. Okay, you have come in 3 9. Okay, we're still in prof 3 9. We are, are you shorting it or you're longing it? I hope you're shorting. Okay, okay, you are worried now. We all get worried. You that's the life of the trader. It's a roller coaster, emotional roller coaster. Okay. So, I okay. Okay. But so, okay. For some, okay. Let's check some technicals first. Okay. So we might find the fourth entry. Okay. So for our one day time frame, we have here. time frame the trend line can be clearer for for our time frame okay this is Did you see our our weekly time frame? When did you start your spot position? Start your spot. while or so this is currently forming a downtrend right here, a falling wedge, channel down, call it but moving down, okay? Uh, these long weeks right here are only the money of the money of uh, the institution okay the institution really loves the food really loves the money of the retailers because the day trader usually place their order here so that they can ride to the downside and make money shorting it okay but the but the institution or the bankers or the the, pro, the traders of the banks they will place their order right here so that they will take your stop loss. So you place your order here, you place your stop loss here, you get snap out from the trade and then it goes your way. So you are not making money from this move right here because you are snap out from your stop loss. And also they place their order here because they are also taking the money of the breakout trader. The breakout trader will always wait for the breakout. Once it goes up, once it goes up, so... Once it breaks here, they place their order right away. And then, they're anticipating. They are counting already. So much money already. And then, it goes down. Okay? So, so, so it also gets the stop loss of those breakout traders right there. Because their stop loss is right here. Okay? So, they try to fool the, they try to fool the retailers. That's why my advice always is watch out. Watch out with your stop loss. We call this the stop loss hunter. Okay, so be careful in placing your stop loss. Okay, so this one. So this is the down, downward slope. And if we see a breakout right here. Okay, this is for our time frame. Okay, so this is close. This is close to your trading. So from top to bottom, the breakout area will be if we break, break pass. We break this strong support right here, a resistance. I mean, we can expect a whooping 4586. Okay, so if it is just a spot wallet, like from the, the income you have from mining Ethereum, and you can it, you can okay. So if we break past here, but of course, if the Bitcoin dumps. You know everything follows Bitcoin because the Bitcoin dominance is forty percent. 
Okay, I repeat, the Bitcoin dominance is 40%. The Ethereum dominance is 30%. Okay? And the, the alt dominance it's is also uh, 30%. Okay, the, the altcoin right now is also growing in dominance. So Bitcoin is still the biggest. So once it moves, it rocks the boat and everything follows. Okay, so for this downtrend right here, this is the expected take profit. Okay, what else can we see here? Okay. Let's check our support and resist. Major support and resist. This is a major support resist. This is a major support right here. It touches. It touches it. And then it rejects. Okay. So, it touches it and it bounces. Okay. It touches it. Rejects. Touch. This is what we call the multi time frame support resistance. And the more it it touches, it bounces, it it bounces or it rejects. The more stronger the support. It touches here, it bounces, bounces. Okay. Right now we are here. We are going up here. Okay. We are trying to stay here in this support resistance. So if, if we stay here, it can be a place of a good bounce. Okay. So that's what we are looking at right now. Let's check the. Let's pull out some Ichimoku cloud. So, no. Oops. Down the cloud right Okay. So, this is below the cloud right here. And we are we are currently under the resistance of the Tenken Sen. The first resistance of the Ichimoku cloud. Second resistance, third resistance, and the last resistance. We break past this one. We can just see our, our support. Our resistance right here, the strong resistance right here, is also placed in the cloud. Just imagine it. The cloud is also supporting the thing we are talking about here. Okay? So, this is the Ichimoku cloud. You can also check the EMA ribbon. EMA ribbon is also waiting here. Okay? This is for the 4-hour time. Okay? So, basically... What we see here is just a breakout from the upside. This is an upside right here. And we broke past it. Okay, let's. Okay. This is a tending triangle. Tending triangle, the breakout will always be the. This is the target profit. This is the breakout area. We have touched already. Okay? We have touched already. I may have not made it so accurate, but we have touched already. The, to the, to the, okay? Just throw it there. So since we touched it already, the breakout area of this ascending triangle, we are looking forward for a new trend to arise. Okay? So are you still there, Ernesto Acosta? You see what I'm trying to uh, say, explain. Do you have a question? So we just hit the target right here for our ascending triangle. And that means we are... Okay, that's good. That's good you are here. Meaning, the, the, the Ethereum has a chance right now to make a new trend. Okay? We are going up currently. With our support resistance, you can see the RSI, right? It's over, 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 sold. Okay, so enough so selling right now. Enough selling right now. We are going up already. Okay, no selling anymore. Our awesome oscillator is still here. Okay, for our time frame, for daily time frame. Our daily time frame. Can you see our daily time frame? Daily time frame. No volume anymore. It's going down right here. But look at our awesome oscillator. It's go. It means we have the opportunity here to go up. Okay. I hope. Uh, base here. 
Okay, I am basing what I'm saying to you is based here. Okay, I am not a hopium person that gives hopium. <laughs> That's bad. Okay, because we are talking about real money here. So, of course, uh, do your own research, trade at your own risk. Okay, Tyor and D Y O R. Okay, for for our time frame is overbought. Big thing right there. So it can be this can be the bottom right here. And then it can start pumping as long as Bitcoin will not track the book. And Bitcoin right now is also going up. Okay. So our one hour time frame, you see our one hour time frame, it's going down right here. Right? Can you see it? Going down the candle. Look at our awesome oscillator, it's going up. Okay, no volume. Since no volume, you have chance. Okay. We are now resting in the support resistance the major support resistance okay that's what we are looking at right now okay so since you are in spot so nothing to worry there's no liquidation there your money is intact okay your money is intact it takes time though if it's if if something happens but there's nothing to worry okay so once it dumps you can wait uh, three years before the another bull run Okay, so if that happens, okay, so sometimes it takes three years for another bull run. During that end, uh, you can accumulate other coins as well. Okay, so we we are closing here, and it, I'm glad that I'm able to help you, Sir Ernesto. I hope you can share our live stream. We are live streaming every day. Okay, even in New Year's Eve, okay? <laughs> we always look at if if our our coins will be a fireworks going down or going up. Okay, not, not fireworks going down. Okay, if the fireworks and the Ethereum and the Bitcoin will celebrate with us or, or not. Okay, so we will still be there. Okay, so announce for our announcement kindly check our this our description so you can see you can see our our social media especially telegram okay happy new year as well happy new year okay, especially our telegram okay we you, we we want you to be there so we can communicate constantly okay so we are training we are trade scholars okay so this is free okay so this is a community of free okay so we just want to continue to train each one and to make money especially the filipinos let us make money in this area because filipinos are really competitive okay so competitive and if they enter the market if we have money pacquiao in the ring we can have other filipino a uh, tycoon in trading okay so i hope we will that will come from trade scholars okay so thank you thank you for staying with us Thank you everyone. Thank you for those who watch and thank you for those who listen even though you are busy. Happy New Year in advance. All the best. All the best. Cheers. Cheers. Good night.